The Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. Presented by Louis Dini. The Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness, or BWCAW, is located on the border of northern Minnesota and southern Ontario. The Boundary Waters are a protected wilderness area located within Superior National Forest and bordering Quetico Provincial Park in Ontario, Canada. Over 1 million acres of wilderness are protected here as part of the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness, most of which is covered by pine forests and lakes. Due to the protected nature of the Boundary Waters, there's many animals that live here. The Boundary Waters are home to many animals, such as the moose, which can weigh up to 1,500 pounds and be 7 feet tall in adulthood. Black bears also thrive in this environment, and they have become so common that campers must hide their food in trees to keep them away from their campsites. They often put food in bear-proof containers and hang it, hang it from thin tree branches so that bears cannot climb up there to get it. Due to the protection offered to endangered species in the Boundary Waters, some endangered species are also on the, on the prowl here, including gray wolves. Only 3,700 gray wolves are left in the lower 48 states of America. The gray wolf is such a staple of the Boundary Waters that Minnesota's professional basketball team, the Minnesota Timberwolves, are named after them. Both the wolf, the gray wolf, and the timber, or the forest where they live. During the summer months, you can travel only into the, you can travel into the Boundary Waters only by canoe. You can paddle on the lakes and portage, or carry your gear in between lakes to travel. This can be hard work, and often you have to carry your canoe up to a mile or more in order to get to the next lake. However, many campers do this every year to find seclusion. During the winter months in northern Minnesota, the lakes freeze over thick, and snow falls heavily across the ground. In order to get around in the Boundary Waters canoe area, you need, snoo you need snowshoes and sled dogs to help you get around. Snowmobiles and other motorized uh, forms of transportation aren't, aren't allowed on the lakes in the winter the same way they aren't in the summer. This means that the lakes stay clean even in the winter time, but it also makes it very difficult to get around. Every year, the Boundary Waters becomes a destination for over 250,000 campers who are seeking to get away from cars, roads, power boats, and other signs of the city, and seek, a clean, seek clean water and clean living in the Boundary Waters for a short period of time. You can see below you a typical campsite that people live for. It's very simple and allows, allows people to get away from the city for a while. While visiting, campers come to fish, simply camp on their own, or to relax away from the city. In order to visit the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness, all visitors must secure a permit to enter. Upon retrieval of the permit, you must watch a long video showing you how to properly dispose of trash and anything else that might, that might come, become a problem for the wilderness around you. This includes starting fires at the right time of year to ensure there are no wildfires and that the entire wilderness stays healthy and clean and intact for generations to come so that people can visit in the future. Despite the efforts to keep the Boundary Waters clean on individual, state, and national levels, the Boundary Waters might be at more risk than ever right now. Recently, those that could open up mining near the Boundary Waters have put its clean waters at risk. Four large proposed mines have been planned just outside of the Boundary Waters and one inside the Boundary Waters um, that could poison the water near, the, near that area as well as get into the groundwater, which could, could poison the water throughout the entire Boundary Waters area and ruin this great wilderness. Despite these impending bills that could allow mining near the Boundary Waters, there is still hope for the future. These bills is not, have not passed yet, and Minnesota as a state has always done a great job protecting the Boundary Waters from these sorts of bills, which have happened in, have happened in the past, as well as Superior National Forest 
which the boundary water is, as, is within, is a protected national forest and is therefore protected by the, by the country. Hopefully these bills do not pass, and you can do your part by going online and signing a petition to stop these mining bills. They are still being considered, and we hope that you can still visit the boundary waters as clean and as safely as it is, as it is today in the future. Hope to see you soon.